Are you looking for spoilers? <laughs> I mean, you want to drop one, I'll take one. Absolutely not. <laughs> Hi, I am Danai Gurira, and this is my trainer, AJ Fisher. And today, we are going to discuss how I trained for Black Panther Wakanda Forever. I used to train alone and there just came a time where I realized I could not challenge myself anymore and I needed a lot more information and a lot more of a challenge to how I work out and, and, and how I function. She's consistently on a program throughout the year. That's so inspiring for me as a trainer because I know that we're working long term and that is the most effective method of accomplishing your goals. We had six core pillars when preparing for this role. Breath work, core, posture, cardio, rotational, anti-rotational, and rest and recovery. First up, breath work. I found breath work to be so important and crucial for Denai's routine for so many reasons. First and foremost, if you can learn to breathe in tandem with activating your core in the correct way, it is one of the most unbelievably effective methods for protecting your low back. The low back is just so susceptible to injury because the lumbar spine doesn't love to move too much under force. In terms of how Okoye holds her body, very different from Danai. That is something that we discovered in the last movie through actually my Alexander Technique guru, this lovely little gentleman in, in Atlanta who just showed me a picture and then we really broke down what that picture of a woman who was really holding her body in a certain way. The idea of girding the, the body and then allowing the breath to fill the, the rib cage above the belly button. It's not easy, actually. But when I would do it, and when we worked on things to help me gain that type of strength, that's where Okoye lives. She's all steel, and then she's like, like all open, ready, you know? And so that combination is all in breath work. So for example, if we're performing lunges, I may say perform three reverse lunges on one continuous exhale. And that's important that it's on the one continuous exhale because it's only at the conclusion of the breath, her lungs are very drained of air, that certain muscles activate to a high level and those are the injury prevention muscles. And so I'm pretty specific with the breath prescriptions because of that fact. Next up, core strength. So before I met AJ Shore, I had some rudimentary ways that I would try to like do the crunches and the whatnots. I don't even know what I was doing. It's been a while since I've done things other than what she tells me. During um, Black Panther, it was very important because of how uh, I move with the spear. It's all rush, rush, rush when you get to, a, to that. It's like, hair makeup, you know, go change you now, they're ready for you, you know. I would have a little setup in my trailer of, and there were certain exercises, she'd send me little Vimeos, and I knew what little things, videos to do to get into Okoye's body. So she would literally go over every move that, where she could see I was out of alignment and like, screenshot it and take pictures, I mean, and then take the, do the drawing on it and write a stuff underneath. And it was just like so clear exactly what I needed to do. And then we'd go over it together. So I always had a guide from her about how to actually execute the work in my fight scenes, literally move to move, but it all involved attaching to the core. Based on her fight scene for that day, maybe sometimes we practice the fight scenes in our sessions and then me knowing, okay, if you are slicing here and then you're kicking here, yeah, let's really make sure to tie in the external oblique with the internal obliques. A key exercise that serves as a warm up and also an injury preventative exercise that I've given Denai a million times to perform before going into a shoot is a standing core exercise. I love a standing exercise that's a functional movement that also trains the core because she can immediately feel how to engage her core when she then is standing performing a functional movement in her character versus doing all of her core work on the ground. So a traditional classic wood chop is either holding a medicine ball going from down to up or up to down. The way that I teach it for Denai is to resist rotational force in the warm up. So she's actually not rotating her body, but she's slicing across her body a certain amount of resistance, usually using a light pull up assist band as a warm up so that she's not burning her muscles out before she goes on set. Next up, let's talk about posture. The idea of how do you strengthen around 
your posture and in a way that allows you to be free in your posture. Definitely something we worked on. I think even when we first met, I think we had great chemistry even on our first session because I put her against a wall. I looked at, okay, how does it feel to push your head against the wall, your shoulders against the wall, and where's your pelvis at in space? I'm really big on head posture with her and making sure that the head is stacked over the shoulders and over the ribs because one of the biggest posture exercises that we rely on is putting a TheraBand behind the head. Next up, cardio. Before I met AJ, I was doing cardio, but you know, it was sort of like, there were times I would overdo it or there were times I would under, you know, I didn't know exactly what my aims were, what my goals were. So cardio became a part of me retaining a fitness level, which my character needs. Of course, it was always a part of my life, but then it became very specific to Okoye because she's a very precise lady. So she's, she's gonna be very fit at all times. Low impact, high intensity interval training. That's basically what became my a key routine that I developed much more specifically during Black Panther and I realized was perfect for the fitness needs I had for myself, but definitely for Okoye. Next goal for Denai's character, which was so key and so important for the program, is a focus on anti-rotational and rotational strength work. The rotational and anti-rotational work is so incredibly important for, for her character really in, in Black Panther is because she's slicing with force across her body. And if she doesn't have the appropriate active muscle tissue, we want all the forces to be absorbed in the obliques, in the multifidi, in our erector spine, all those muscles that rotate, we want those muscles to be strong and to be active so that the forces are not being absorbed in the passive tissues like the ligaments, cartilage, bursa, all the things that do absorb forces and are very injury prone. That's the key thing about the character is that she is you know, using this weapon exactly across the body. So it is so important, that posture. It's, it's so important for so many parts of my body as well. Like, you know, right down to the knees, the ankles, everything. So, so much in need of the right type of rotation in order to actually be able to enact that and then get good enough at it to, for, to, to be recorded on film. Last, we have the recovery programs. Recovery programs are so essential for being able to hit your high intensity intervals, for being able to gain strength. It's so imperative to get those recovery programs in. And so when she does high intensity interval training one day, the next day we're performing longer, slower, aerobic work to make sure that she's not stressing her body as much. And then maybe one or two times a week, she's getting a recovery program where she's not simply not moving, but I'm recommending that she takes a long bath while stretching, a hot shower, a long walk, something that's getting her heart rate up so that she's getting the blood flow through the body, which the blood flow does assist in recovery. Now bear in mind, when she says hot bath, she needs <laughs> hot bath. I mean, like, she'll literally be like, you know, get into a bath as hot as it can be. Stay in there for as long as you can bear it. Like, it's never like, just take a bath. The other thing that was uh, really helpful, there's this massive fight I had to do. We had to shoot it over the course of three days, and we ended up shooting it for another two days later on. And she put me through a very extensive recovery process. You could feel, it's very interesting, because it was, it was a lot of stretching and a lot of, like, you know, foam rolling and different things of of the various muscle groups that were getting pounded by this fight. But it was so crucial to being able to go back in and keep going for, you know, three days. Having someone who actually knows how to create one for you where your body is, the, the key muscles that are going through the stress are getting the right type of recovery. It could have been not great if we didn't have that. So just to reiterate, our core goals were breath work, core, posture, cardio, rotational, anti-rotational, and rest and recovery. Thank you for watching this episode of How I Train for Black Panther Wakanda Forever.